Hey YouTube friends, so we are at Flagpole Knob in Northern Virginia and uh, we, this will be the conclusion of the nine videos on Flagpole Knob. Flagpole Knob is um, one of the beginner trails that uh, the Jeep clubs use in the area to recruit new, new members and uh, as you've seen um, in the previous videos some of the good things about this place is it's very easy and uh, there's a wide variety of different obstacles here. Um, there, at one point we saw some steps, at another point we saw some mud, um, at another spot we saw like a small little hill climb. There are quite a few like small, very small obstacles, um, so it gives a, a new person like a sense of accomplishment uh, because they can make it over their, their little fears if they have fears over um, some of these obstacles. Um, however, by no means this is not a challenging trail at all. And uh, if you normally, you know, take your Jeep out in the woods all the time, you'll probably be pretty bored here to tell you the truth. Um, other than, you know, seeing the nice scenic view, uh, there, there's nothing here that's really um, overly challenging. So we are um, right now headed down the mountain, and uh, this is going to be about a, a 1,500 um, foot elevation drop between the top of the knob and then um, getting down to the spot where we're going to air up. It's pretty easy um, to navigate this place um, for the most part. Um, there's not really any other trails that go anywhere. You don't really run into many like intersections. Um, even if you know you just had like the Maprika or the Gaia or whatever and you came up here and uh, it was like you were the only one up here. Not that you should wheel by yourself, but even if you were the only one up here or you were with another Jeep and neither one of you have been up here before, um, it's relatively easy to, to navigate around and uh, there's nothing really too um, confusing that I've seen so far um, up here. The, the hardest part is actually just figuring out like where the trailhead is. Like That's probably the, hard, the hardest part. And the fact that there's no um, cell coverage, um, getting the meetup where you actually can find your friend. Um, and like I said in our, the original video, you do, you do the meetup in town, um, usually at the grocery store, or, um, the sheets, or whatever, the gas station. So this side um, of the lower part of Union Springs um, feels a lot like the, um, the entire lakeside um, in that it's like almost like just two-wheel drive, um, gravel roads um, and we are getting down into the gravel it looks like um, but we are about to pull into the air up area but I want to be just totally honest and transparent with everybody so you can actually see all the flagpole because if I just release like just like the highlights um, then you're gonna think oh my god like look how awesome it is like in one video and then you're gonna come here and you're gonna find oh well if, if you know we were out there for four hours and like we only spent like 10 minutes on uh, the highlights um, and yeah, that's that's basically what it is. Like, there's ten minutes of obstacles, and you know, like three hours of um, this sort of trail, just to, to provide some uh, perspective. Um, there's a little bit more to do, but um, there's this big hill climb behind me that we're kind of debating about whether or not it's trespassing or not. It looks like it's an established trail, but somebody heard that maybe like we're not supposed to go up there. I don't know. Um, so anyway, there's a big open area basically right here, and this is where everybody kind of airs up on the side um, if you're coming from the lake. And uh, you can see there's a Jeep right there, it's airing up. Um, but the whole crew's here, and we're just all, sorry for the fast spin, but um, I'll try to spin maybe a little bit lower. Um, but yeah, this is what you do, you air up, and then uh, you head out. And uh, the interesting thing is that like, it got warm enough today, even though it's the middle of winter, that I was able to go topless, like check it out. Like, like way cool, even dogs happy with it being topless. Um, but I'm gonna put it back down for the highway right back, um, so. I'll post uh, like um, in the corner or whatever at some point, but maybe it'll be in an earlier video, um, a map of how to get here. So anyway, we will see you around. Thank you. Please like and subscribe. Onboard air? Uh, that one more. No, uh, yeah, onboard though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. ARB? Yeah. That is a really nice compressor. That is a really nice compressor. Yeah. Very expensive compressor. Well, I had to get into a parking place. One of my buddies found it for me. And then the TJ has a hard, it's an LJ. Yeah. It has a harder time finding a spot on 
afford to do it. Yeah. The JK. Yeah. And he manufactured it so that we can have a dual battery tray. Nice. And because I already had it up on the battery, I was already set. Perfect. Absolutely. That is like I perfect. Love this. Onboard air is awesome. Hey, so people find interesting things to do to pass the time. So uh, basically, um, I'm all fully aired up, and uh, I'm gonna just head out. And uh, from this point on, um, basically just a gravel road between uh, where we were and then um, the Union Springs. And uh, so we're, we're just kind of all leaving on our own, even though um, normally I would say like go out in groups, um, because I know I know that like there's people behind me that are gonna come down the mountain, even if I had a mechanical problem. Um, they would come find me, like basically, because there's only one route to go, and, and they're going to be coming this way. So basically, um, yeah, it's a gravel road from uh, here the rest of the way down, and then um, at some point we basically run into some um, some houses, and uh, that basically would be uh, Union Springs essentially. And uh, I'm going to include this footage so you can see how to get up like, the mountain. Um, just so you can just kind of get an idea if you decide to come the Union Springs way where the entrance would be. And as you can see, um, we're just sort of like now pulling into this residential area and there's just houses. Like, that's it. That's a trailhead right there. So for me, um, the ride isn't over. <laughs> um, I had to actually like come up pretty far away. It was two hours in each direction to um, get down to Flagpole. So, yeah, the the road the trail continues now. Um, I have like my uh, two-hour journey um, through what is becoming um, a darker and darker night to get home. So, uh, thank you, and uh, please uh, like and subscribe.